Oh, hi guys, and today I'm I'm going to show you how to get better at your look ahead, which is very, 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 very important if you want to be fast. And it's important because uh, after you finish the cross, then you want to go straight into your F2L without a pausing or a searching for where the pieces are. So then you can just go straight in and just continue solving it until you can perform uh, all your F2L uh, smoothly and without any large pauses. So my first tip is to practice with easy cross uh, solutions so then you can see where all of the pieces are going. So here, see this example? Uh, so we have two uh, cross pieces already solved. Then we have um, an another one here, and then another one here. So, it's one move, a, a, a two insert orange, two, three. So those are three moves. Then we can track down what our first pair can be. And uh, here, um, if we look for something nice, then this piece right here, this is white, blue, and orange. Then if, uh, then when you insert orange in here, and then green here, then a search for where, uh, the edge for this corner is. And it is right here. So, uh, it's only affected by you two. So you two will bring this one over here, with the orange sticker facing here. So it is probably not the best pair, uh, here and, uh, here and here. But it's pretty decent. So as you go right in, just go straight into it without any pauses. And then you can maybe uh, even uh, challenge yourself by uh, trying to look ahead uh, to your second F2L well pair. Next tip is to turn slowly. So here uh, is an example with the cross all already done. So instead of spamming a, um, a TPS, instead, turn slowly and try to see where all of the pieces move and, and try and uh, track them down. So as you uh, insert this uh, pair in here, it's pretty straightforward. Instead of looking at your uh, current pair, then turn slowly and watch where all the pieces go so you don't have to pause much. Just go straight in, and so on. Next tip, uh, which I already mentioned, it is um, don't look at your current pair. And uh, here, after you solve uh, the cross, then do not look at the pair that you're doing. Instead, a search for uh, another edge and corner uh, that can be your next pair. So as you do these, do not look at them. Instead, search for uh, uh the other pairs so here you just go straight in here because i saw this and then just go right in uh that and then here uh, as you're inserting these two look for the corresponding edge for uh, uh this corner which is right here so as you put it in you can just go straight in to this one and all oh, and so on. My next tip is to watch example solves. And a fellow Xemdix has really, really good example solves. And uh, and in every single uh, solve, he will talk about uh, his first pair and even his second pair. And he will talk about and explain everything that he does so you just watch example solves and learn from uh the professionals that actually know how to do good look ahead um and if you're fast then look ahead will be a crucially important because um You're not going to be fast if you're solving like this.
Okay, you you get the point. I'm pausing a lot, and you really have to reduce the number of pause, of pauses, and how long you pause because that will uh, start to hinder your solves, and you'll not be as fast. And the three main things, well, well, obviously there's more, but the three main things, uh, in being fast, is knowing the the uh, the case or algorithm. A turning fast and good luck head first if you know if you know the algorithm then it's very very uh helpful and it will also Im improve your look ahead uh, because you will see where all all of the pieces uh, permutate and where they go and also if you turn fast that does not improve your look ahead if you want to improve your look ahead do slower solves and try to watch where all of the pieces move and then um Think about what uh, you're going to do as your next pair after you finish, uh, as you're doing uh, the pair that you're currently doing. And then that will really, really improve your times. And and trust me, it does. Obviously, I, I'm not a master at look ahead, but I'm not bad by, by any means. So uh, that's pretty much it. And... So if you want to improve your look ahead, just apply those tips that I just told you, and trust me, you'll get a lot, lot better over time, and with practice, you will definitely get better. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.